welcome back to Hold and Modify. It's Q, and I'm working with Doug uh, Compton over at Tenmark, trying to figure out how to get animations playing on this Pi Storm 32 in a way that's reliable and fast to confirm whether or not it is slow. And as you can see, it took a little while to get this player playing the anim file, <laughs> but I started loading this into view before I, I kicked off my little intro there. And uh, it, it kind of timed itself perfectly with my with my intro, huh? But as you can see, this is a problem I have had before in the past with uh, Amiga anims that use resolutions that aren't quite standard. View doesn't know how to handle them. Like it, it, it probably should be switching to an interlaced screen to play this. And for some reason, View doesn't do it. I don't know why, but this is a 70 megabyte uh, anim format. This is a ham six, okay? So this is a uh, good old regular ham mode. And there's the screensaver kicking in. Uh, and it's playing with Vue. So Vue loaded this 70 meg sucker into memory. This thing has two, megs, two gigs of memory on it. So you're, you know, first off, you're gonna even try and load this animation on your Amiga. You're gonna want at least 128 megabyte Amiga because this, this file is, is 70 megabytes on its own. And you'll, you'll recognize this anim from the Amiga Art Contest 2022. That's the test file. This is why Doug sent me this file so he can play them on his system. I can play them on my system and we can see what kind of results we're getting. And yeah, it's, it looks like I'm pretty sure this is gonna be consistent. Like I showed in my prior videos, the Pi Storm 32 just currently can't muster the, the throughput of uh, anim formats or, you know, or those higher color screens. Ignore the squished part. That's, that's nothing to do with Pi Storm. That's view uh, not understanding what screen it's supposed to be. And by the way, the default playback speed of view is to just play everything as fast as it can from memory. So this is ham six and you're seeing this whole time that, yeah, it's, 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 it's chunky. Now I did try to play this in other programs. I did try to play this in that ViewTech program and I could not get it to load up. ViewTech was failing to load it. It just kind of, it got stuck in a loop, which is kind of a bummer because that is a little bit better of a player. Of course, the other way to play this would be to use directory Opus, or if you look in the upper left-hand corner here, it says D-O-P-U-S, Dopus. All right, so let's go to downloads. And once again, we'll try that ham six. As you can see, it's 70 megabytes. And then the ham eight version is 180 megabytes. So even if you had 128 megabyte Amiga, which is ridiculous, you're still not gonna be able to play this file. Yeah, you'd have to have, you know, well, you'd have to have more than 180 megabytes. So if you're one of those lucky few out there that has the 256 megabyte um, fast lane cards or one of those newer ones, then you're off and running. So as you can see here, a directory opuses anim player is having more success getting the right screen mode. So something, I don't know what throws view off that it can't get the right screen mode. Uh, but as you can see as well, though, directory opus is also having problems playing this back full speed. Basically an NTSC low res interlaced animation file at PAL resolution, I believe, because I think the horizontal is over 500. And it just, it's not able to play it back. And unfortunately, my GVP 68030 at 40 megahertz card that I have, it has, you know, the maximum, I believe it's, you can only put 32 megabytes of memory on it. Regardless, that's all I have is 32 megabytes. So I can't, I can't test it on there. I'd have to like play, I'd have to copy this animation over to the 4,000 and even then, my 4000 has 128 megs of RAM. So, or does it have 256? Man, my memory is getting worse as the years go by. So I may only be able to play the ham six version of this file, not the ham eight. So we've watched this beautiful, amazing animation play for a while. And you can see and confirm that even in ham six mode, it struggles. So now do we dare try and play the ham eight version? Why not? Let's do it. All right, 704 by five. Oh, that's beautiful though. Look how clean that looks, jeez. So here you go, a nice full D1, or if over in Europe, I guess D2 um, resolution file, full ham eight. Oh, it's gorgeous. It looks, I mean, I know it's playing back as like a slideshow, but the quality of a ham eight animation at full D1, you know, 720 by 480, um, plus you over scan, of course, and the numbers are a little higher, but man, that's gorgeous. That looks so, this is what blew my mind back back then when these AJ Amigas came out and yeah, RTG cards had been out and 24 bit display cards had been out, but wow, now we could use all aspects of our Amiga, but with this kind of color, I, I just, it freaked me out. And yeah, you know, the Macs were getting their million color, their, their millions of color modes and their tens of thousands of color modes that they were introducing, but the fluid capability playback of animations and in the full integration of the AJ modes into the workbench operating system, 
this stuff is gorgeous. This looks beautiful. Just seeing this, uh, even in slideshow mode, it looks beautiful. <laughs> so yeah, uh, the Pi Storm 32 is, it, they definitely have work to do on whatever it is for uh, decoding and then transferring to memory, transferring to the video chipset to play, uh, play these anim animation files back or these high color screen modes back. You know, the lower color screen modes don't seem to have a problem. So there's some kind of weird bandwidth issue going on there. But I hope this uh, helps. And, and Doug, thanks for sending these over. And uh, we can just go out on this video, just this beautiful uh, one frame to two frame per second slideshow of this beautiful animation. Oh, what a, what a, what a good way to end it on Starry Night. <laughs>